everyone, welcome back to another episode of Crazy Delicious Cooking. As you know, we're always looking for great recipes to bring to you, and today we have one. So today we're making Parmesan garlic baked chicken wings. We've made this before, and they are to die for. Yeah. And I just had the idea that I wanted to make them again and share the recipe with you. So let's go ahead and get started. Two things before we start making them. We need to preheat our oven and we need to get a beer. Oh yeah. So Lewis, get us the beer. Well preheat to what? 400. Perfect. No. Now the beer. I feel like you can't have chicken wings without an ice cold beer. So tonight we're drinking Blue Moon, just an easy kind of beer to go with the wings. Here's how my turn up. It's good. I like it all. Okay, I don't though. <laughs> I think you poured it too fast. Thirsty. Yeah. Don't just wait. Oh god. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah. Nothing like a cold beer after a long hard day at work. Yes. Although I must say I didn't work too hard today. I was rather quite bored. <laughs> All right, so we've got our chicken wings, and you want to cut them if they're not already cut. So we have our drumettes, and we have what they call the little flappers. So in this family, Lois loves the drumettes, and I love the flappers. So we have even portions of each, and we don't need to share. <laughs> yep. All right, so we got our wings. They're already cut, separated. I bought them like that. Some places you can't buy them like that. I hate that. I hate having to cut chicken. All right, and then we have all our ingredients to kind of make our sauce. And the key in this recipe is going to be cornstarch. So cornstarch is what is going to make these super crispy when you bake them in the oven. So we'll add that later. Okay, so we have all our other ingredients. We've got crushed red pepper, parsley, Parmesan cheese, minced garlic, a fresh lemon for lemon juice, sea salt, and then we're gonna use some olive oil. So let's go ahead and get this mixed up. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mix our ingredients in the small bowl, and this will kind of be our wet mix. Um, so it's pretty easy. It's basically like a teaspoon of kind of every single one of these things. Um, for this recipe, I'm probably going to double it just because I bought a lot of wings. So I'm going to make sure we have lots of this sauce. So um, I'm going to do, the first thing is a half teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to do a whole teaspoon. Here we go. And then I'm going to do a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Everyone, remember I'm doubling this recipe, so don't be confused. I'll post the recipe below. Just follow along. <laughs> All right, so I've got a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and I'm gonna double this, of course. I'm gonna do two teaspoons. There we go. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of minced garlic. So again, doubling it. And remember, these are Parmesan garlic chicken wings, so if you don't really like garlic, this might not be the right recipe for you because they are, they do have that garlic taste, and that's what makes them good. So can you not just take the garlic out if you don't like garlic? Would that be okay? Probably, yeah. You would just have Parmesan baked wings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a, it's a teaspoon of black pepper, so again, I'm gonna do two. So Louis, if you wanna. Gotta put them to work somehow. It's a lot of pepper. It is. You can always estimate too, you know. A lot is full. Alright, right. yeah, that was one. <laughs> Oop, our oven's preheated. So this is really quick, really simple. Kind of just throw the ingredients together and you're good to go. Alright, that looks good. Okay, and then we're gonna need a teaspoon of lemon juice. So I've got my squeezer here. Go ahead. Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons, since I'm doubling it. Perfect. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and add our olive oil. So it's two tablespoons of olive oil, 
and we're going to double it so that will be four. All right, let me go ahead and get that. Oh no. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, here we have the olive oil crisis of 2019. We're always running out of something here. Oh, the not crazy going anywhere. <laughs> no, we don't have to run out. Okay. <laughs> We're always running out of something in the crazy delicious cooking kitchen. <laughs> so I'm not gonna use olive oil, I'm gonna use vegetable oil. It's the same thing, it's fine, it'll taste the same. So if you wanna get us the vegetable oil, yeah, it's right here. olive oil crisis of 2019. That's one, two, three, four. All right, so this isn't gonna give you very much as you can see. So that's the reason why I doubled it because I've got a lot of wings here to cover. Um, so just mix this around, make sure it's combined, and then we're going to go ahead and pour it on our wings. So let's get a big bowl for our wings. So our wings are in our bowl. I'm going to take my sauce and just pour it right on. All right, so I just poured my sauce in my chicken wings, and I'm going to go ahead and toss them to coat. These are yummy. They are. Look at that. So much flavor. All right, so my wings are coated, and what we're going to do now is we're going to add our cornstarch. So our cornstarch, we're just going to um, sprinkle a little bit over top, get them kind of, you know, covered in the cornstarch. It's really just going to be just put a little bit in there. Now you're going to use your hands for this and just kind of make sure they're all kind of covered. You might have to add a little bit more. That's where you need an assistant. So I think I need my assistant a little bit. All right. All right, so make sure you get them coated in the cornstarch because again, this is what makes them gonna have that really crispy outside, like they're fried, even though we're, we're baking them. All right, so next we're gonna do the second primary ingredient. So the garlic was the first primary ingredient and then the second primary ingredient is the Parmesan cheese. So you're just gonna go ahead and add this so that all the wings get coated. I'm going to add quite a lot. Again, mix them up. Add a little bit more. It's quite add a lot, huh? It is. And now you see on that, I really didn't follow the rules of how much you're supposed to use, but you just do how you feel. That's the fun part of cooking. All right, those look good. Okay, so the key in this recipe as well is that you're going to use baking sheets and you want to cover them with parchment paper and you're going to spray that parchment paper with Pam. Melissa's favorite thing in the world. <laughs> but we can't use butter, so Pam it is. But we can. No. How are you going to put butter on a on parchment paper. You want me to show you? Oh no, Lewis. We're not doing that. Mm -mm. Yeah, you're gonna spread it all over the parchment no, paper. Take this butter stick. I don't think we have one. We used it. All right. Here's my pet peeve. Reynolds kitchen wrap. Let me let me show you. Why is this parchment paper? too big for the trays. Why do I have to cut it? Aluminum foil isn't bigger than a tray. Why is this bigger than a tray? There's a difference in the tray. Because there's yeah. cookie trays? Oh, maybe because they have cookie trays. Anyway, my rant is that they should make two different sizes for a regular tray and a cookie tray so that I don't need to cut it. All right, so line your tray with the parchment paper, get your pan out. Go ahead and just spray that a little bit. Oh, Perfect. Scissors and everything else. It's fine, Lewis. It's fine. <laughs> and 
then you'll just go ahead and put all your wings out on the tray. We'll put Liz's drumettes together and all my flappers together. Now I'm getting hungry. I wasn't hungry when we started, but now I'm hungry. All right, so we've got our wings on our tray and we're gonna put them in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes and we're gonna flip them halfway. So in the oven they go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, we're about halfway through baking these wings. I'm gonna go ahead and flip them. So as I like to say, our chicken wangs are done, and we're going to take them out of the oven, see how they look, pop them back in for four to six minutes under the broiler so they get nice and crispy. Wow, look at those. I think I'm going to flip them back over. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm putting them back in the oven under the broiler for four to six minutes. All right, so while our wings are under the broiler, I'm just going to cut up some celery and some carrots to put on the side of our wings and serve with some ranch dressing. All right, so we've got our wings fresh out of the oven, our chopped celery, carrots, and a side of ranch dip. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of parsley on top of these and they will be ready to serve. Yummy. They're a little bit spicy uh, because we put that red pepper in there, so just take caution. You take that first bite, it's gonna really hit ya. <laughs> so in today's episode of Crazy Delicious Cooking, we made Parmesan garlic baked chicken wings. These are divine. We've had them before, we've made them again, and we hope that you'll make them following the recipe down below. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys. <gasps> Lois, it's going to come. Oh, my God. It's going to come over. Oh, my God. What a mess. What a mess. Babe. It's good. <laughs> Are you See? serious? Yeah. <sighs> Cheers. Cheers. Ice maker. This is why it takes seven hours for us to film. We have to restart the camera, right, the ice mix right. is going off, sometimes cars outside, vroom okay. vroom and up the street. Okay. Alright, so <laughs> I know, I know, Lewis is always yelling at me.